Go. Okay, Allie. So what else do we need to do? You got your doggy all smooth in a fantastic shape. You did an awesome job. So what are you going to do now? What do we need? So to you're going to make the eye. So first you, you have to roll it. You're going to roll a little ball? Yes, and then you, you get the special tool. And then you poke it. And then you put it right there. And then you get some more clay. And just roll it up to make the nose. Beautiful. It's perfect. To make the tongue, it's easy. You can have the tongue sticking out. Maybe you can make it curvy or any old position you want it. How's your, what's your tongue going to look like? Look at how cute. I love it. Okay, what about, what else is missing? Do we need an ear maybe? Maybe no, a collar? We need a collar. Okay. How do you so, want to make your collar? First you have to... Okay, you can draw yours. You just use the special collar. Perfect. And then what about making his little, he's got like a little jacket on. Do you want to like draw uh, edges of a jacket? I can draw points. You can make it any way you want. It's like a decoration. And then I need to teach you one little trick. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Make... Allie, you're doing an awesome job. I'm proud of you. This is art. is pretty easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not so hard. And okay, this, we need one trick. And, and we're done. So One thing we need to worry about, LA, is that the things are going to come off. So what you need to do is put your fingers in the edge, and we need to push down the edges a little bit. And then I need you to make a really, really skinny snake. A really skinny snake, because it's called a coil. And with the coil, what we're going to do is we're going to put that around the edge of the eyeball or the tongue or the nose, just like this. And what that does is it attaches it so it doesn't fall off in the kiln. And then you need to smooth it so you can't see it. So how about you do that? And we'll make another coil. Go ahead. Go for it, sweetie. Here's a coil. And then what you do is you wrap it around like the edge. Put it around the edges of your nose. And then you want to push it together so it's kind of pushed into the clay. And then that, again, is the way you're going to firmly attach it. Then another trick, we need to take that needle tool. And you need to take a, make a hole that goes all the way through. Push it in the whole way. No, through the top. The whole way. And I'll tell you why after. Like this. This is so we create an air pocket on the back side. What we're going to do is we're going to smooth it so you can't see it on this side. But it prevents an air pocket from forming. And if there's any air that's coming out when you're doing the clay, and it's in the kiln, it will come out this way, and we don't have any problems with the clay blowing up. But there you have it. We've got a beautiful dog that is all finished that my little six-year-old friend made. Allie, what do you think of yourself? Are you proud of your dog? Yes. Guess what we're going to do next? We're going to put it in the oven. Absolutely. What's the oven called? Is it called a kiln? Yes. And we're going to probably fire it at about 1,800 degrees for 8 or 10 hours. And then once it's all cooled down, we're going to be able to paint it any coloring you want. And then you have your own private piece of art. Hi. Good job, hon. Give me five. Uh, I like give me five, bud. Ah.